Hello, gang. Hello, Mo. We're back for Reckless Vlog 2. Guys, I figured you would appreciate a musical intro because you haven't seen us for a hot minute. Uh, it's, it's, it's been a bit. Life's been busy. Um, ooh, We've been sickness. trying to find spots, but it's cold and spots are locked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, um, that being said, given, given the plague that's been going around our house and, uh, all the houses connected to us, um, we are here to talk about that, something that Mo just mentioned. There we go. I'm Vanna Whiting. I, I can't admit it. There we go. Um, so like Mo said, we are here to talk about sort of about finding spots, but m mostly about meeting failure. So lately, guys, we we've 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 had a little trouble getting into some spots. Uh, we also have a few interesting stories to go along with uh, uh, said trouble. Yeah, you know, you know, sometimes stories are, are fun if you can't like do the whole thing. You know, you got the story. Um, yeah. So in in the hobby, guys, as as you know, there's there's wins and losses, right? Yeah. You can roll up to a spot, you know, have have all the confidence in the world that you're getting in there, um, and you try and get in, and there is absolutely no way in. And or usually the second <clears throat> floor window is busted, but how <laughs> yeah. the heck do you get up to the second floor? <laughs> yeah. And I mean, obviously, guys, we don't, you know... The, we don't break windows, no. or we don't break into doors, no. so if it's locked, it, we're, we're, we're not going in. We're out, yeah. So, you know, also sometimes it can be, you know, due to bad or not even bad, but old information, right? You know, someone tells you of a spot they were at, say, two months ago, three months ago, and now the spot all of a sudden is either gone or, or locked or up. Or it up. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, it, it, it makes for a frustrating evening of exploring or day of exploring, what have you. Um, Which can be quite frustrating when you don't have a lot of free time and you spend four hours going to multiple spots and none of them are open. Right. And as we've said before, guys, a, a lot of the reason why why we end up shooting in the dark is because those are really our only free hours to go shooting. Yeah, we're not trying to be creepy or <clears throat> weird. We just both work full time. And... Although, that being said, <laughs> we are kind of creepy and weird, so, well, yeah. you know. One of the creepiest things ever. Creepy farmhouse in the dark. Oh, yeah. Creepy farmhouse in the dark. Mm -hmm. That's a grand old time, guys. Grand old time. Memories. I'm done. I'm done with Christmas my music. Christmas night. Oh, fuck. Moldy Manor. Oh, that was nuts. Yeah, that was nuts. Okay, so the Moldy Manor story, guys. Oh. Almost a bando fail, but we found a way in last minute. We're not going to disclose how. But. No, no, we, we rolled, we rolled up to this spot and it was a tip given to us by somebody else. And, uh, honestly, it was, it looked like an epic failure until, until we got a little, you know, we got a, we got a little wise, let's say. And we, uh, yeah, we were, we were able to, to pop in there, but Christmas miracle. Yeah, it wasn't, it was really a Christmas miracle. Um, now that being said, this same person who shall remain nameless, uh, gave us another spot that was def definitely, definitely, uh, you know, uh, ha had a way into it. And of course, wanted to trade another spot for it. So, you know, we ended up getting, we ended up getting uh, basically a, a piece of shit I'm sure it would have been great, but it was boarded up tight and had been for a long time. And had realtor lock boxes on it, so it was definitely not a, not, exactly. not abandoned. So I, you know, I also may question this person's integrity. But, but let's be nice, and we will drop that person. Yeah. Um, so that being said, you know, bando bando fails are 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 very irritating, especially for. I mean, they're irritating for everybody, as we already discussed, daytime, nighttime. But with our limited schedule, um, and you know, our our necessity basically to explore at night. Um, you know, it's particularly freezing after you've worked a full day, right? In the middle of the winter. Right. In the middle of the winter, you know, it's now like 
one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, you've, you've hit spots and you, you know, you, you just feel like your, your night's wasted and you know, it, it, it makes it hard sometimes to, to want to continue on, to want to push forward. Right. But you know, you always have to remember that, that excitement of your, like your yeah, initial find or your like, you never know how exciting the next <clears throat> spot is going to be. Ex- exactly. It guys, could be the best one yet. Right, guys, all of us in this hobby, I mean, we have a real problem. We're thrill seekers, and, you know, we we just want to know things. It's, you know, it's not a, a matter of, like, uh, being, doing something nefarious. It's it's finding out about the past. That's why we go into these places, to, to learn what they were like, or learn what the people were like that were in them, and, you yeah, know. time capsules are my favorite, for sure. Yeah. It, Get a bit of personality along with the, the house. Exactly, exactly. Um, so, but you had some epic fails on nights I could not go out. Oh, guys, I got the story the next morning. Oh, guys, so <clears throat> Jackson and I, Jackson and I were recently at uh, at a place. We'll, we'll go in, I uh, know, we'll, we'll go in order of shittiness. Okay, <clears throat> so I think. I think the second, our, our, this would have been the second of, of two spots where we had altercations. And now, guys, this is also, a, you know, an issue in our hobby, right? Is nosy neighbors or uh, um, <laughs> property owners who are less than receptive sometimes to, to what we do, right? And, you know, for, for all, you know, we know that we're not there for a nefarious purpose. They certainly don't know. Right. So, you know, we can, we, we understand their trepidation and their, you know, their, uh, drive to protect, if you will. And, and sometimes their neighborhood or right. Right. (laughs) And like, I, I, trust me, I, we appreciate it. Mo and I both appreciate and understand that, you know, given the situation, who knows how we would respond. If it was my neighborhood or my, my house that was being abandoned, I'd appreciate my neighbor's being protective so exactly exactly um well in this in in this first of two tales from old hefla from i would have gone down the cold to be part of this one that's for oh, sure oh yeah so jackson and i <laughs> jackson and i we we rolled up on this spot and um we had seen pictures of the house from like a couple of weeks prior to, to us going there. So we, we were fairly confident that, you know, the, the site was intact. We could get in, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, in and out. It did not turn out like that. Um, without saying too, too much, because I don't necessarily, if, if the person who was involved with this incident with us, uh, is watching this, I, man, I am really sorry. <laughs> we basically scared the shit out of each other that night. Um, so anyway, like I said, we roll up on this property and we had seen the recent photos. Well, the house was no longer on the property. Like we could not find it. We found a barn and that was the only structure that we found. It now, was really dark that night. To it, be fair. it was really dark that night, but what we did find was a brand new yellow caterpillar backhoe and like a perfect, perfect intact 70s Camaro. Beautiful. Not something you'd think you'd find at a bando. Now, stupid me, stumbling around in the dark, missed something pretty obvious. Something that, you know, it, it, a little out of place. Yeah, yeah, I was. It, it, there was a camper van that that old that old heft there couldn't see too well in the dark. As Mo has stated to me many times in real life, I do in fact need glasses. I've now admitted it. I'm, a couple of videos from now, you could be wearing glasses. Exactly. Likely not, gang, because you know, because I'm don't obstinate. Listen to me when yeah. it comes to health. So. Yeah. Well, anyway. Um, we, we gave this guy a bit of a fright and I tried to explain my way out of the situation by trying to explain what her backseat was. Um, he, uh, he did not take too kindly. Uh, and suffice it to say, old Jackson and I had to make a run for the Jackson Mobile, a.k.a. Nosferatu. Um, there was mud involved, lots of mud. Um... Yeah, had to do laundry the next morning. Had to do laundry the next morning. My my, I was covered head to toe. Poor poor Jackson was a mess. 
Thank God. Nosferatu was probably covered in mud. Yeah, the old old Nas, old old Nas needed a bit of a touch up, but I'll tell you guys, it, it let it let me know my heart's still good. I don't need to see a cardiologist yet. However, it did leave me in need very badly of a change of undies. Um, and now Camperman has a hilarious story to tell. Yeah. <laughs> also, it may have induced extreme paranoia in the poor guy. Right. He's never going to sleep again. <laughs> Bro, if you're watching this, I'm super sorry, but it was super hilarious. <laughs> Guys, I'm really sorry. I have a very strange sense of humor and getting chased in the dark for me is kind of a good time. Oh my, bro. Oh my. Well, on to our next story. This guy, uh, we're just going to call him Truck Guy. And to get it right out of the way, in a fit of anger, at the end of this tale, I may have suggested he go back to his farm and do something with his horse. Now, this man was extremely rude. He was extremely rude. <clears throat> Again, Mo, the, the good sense of reckless adventure. I had to work the next morning. Could not be with us. So, Jackson and I, stupid Jackson and I, <laughs> um, we roll up, we, like, we finally find this spot, and we, we roll up on what's little left of the driveway, and just in case anyone had, had come around or anything like that, we, um, backed the car, okay, we had backed the car, um, so that way the nose was pointing towards the, um, road, and, you know, we could, we could get out of there lickety split. Well, like, not 30 seconds into being there, we see headlights coming from down the way, and it's like, oh, God. So this dude, this nosy neighbor, um, in his truck pulls up. Now, Jackson and I have just gotten out of the car, and we tell the guy we're lost. We're trying to get our bearings. Like, we, like, we don't want trouble, right? And Buddy was less than polite and decided to escalate the situation very quickly. So... <clears throat> He blocks Jackson and I in and is kind of giving us a hassle about whether he's letting us go, not letting us go, what's going on. Anyway, um, truck guy finally motions for us to pull forward. So we pull forward. And as we're starting to pull forward, he tries to back his truck into the front end of Nosferatu. Um, Which is Jackson's car, Jackson's by the way. Car, we, haven't, yeah. we haven't mentioned that. No, no. I'm, so, I'm <laughs> sorry. Jackson's car is known as Nosferatu. Um, anywho. Um, so... I, of course, got a little, a little upset. Um, he said some things, I said some things, some things went down. Um, anyway, he eventually, like, pulls off down the road. Can't see him at all anymore. Um, and what we surmise happened was he pulled into, like, another neighbor's driveway and then kind of, like, backed out. Because once we saw he was clear, we started to pull out into the road and he tried to run his, the nose of his pickup truck into the nose of Nosferatu. Um, again, escalated quickly. Uh, I didn't wait for more things to be said. I, there was a situation. Let's let's just put it that way. There was a situation, and and in the end, I I had suggested he go home and enjoy the company of his horse, um, mostly because he looked like uh, a lunatic and an asshole after um, after a well, guy. He could just let you go. Yeah, a after he, he yeah yeah it yeah. Uh, anyway, Bando fails. Hate. Oh. I shouldn't say I hate nosy neighbors. Like I said, I appreciate what they're trying to do, but like they do interfere with footage. They do interfere. And urban exploring. They do interfere with footage and urban exploring. But you know that's that's a case of someone taking it to the extreme. Like yeah. like I said, guys, I I always as much fun as I have harassing these people when they want to get dumb. You know, I like to try and approach things reasonably, and I like we don't want to cause any trouble. Like, no, we always state that right away. Right, like we just want to go in and take a look. I mean, I, I've had to talk to police officers before when we've been exploring, and honestly, if you're just reasonable about it, they're reasonable about it with with you as well. So, like I said, in in this per particular case of this farmer, he he took things to the extreme, and it it was not necessary, and you know the incident did not need to occur in the first place. 
Well, <clears throat> so that's nosy neighbor Bando fails. Yeah. Um, now, one of the other big things in in Bando fails, um, you know, when you when you get to a location, you just can't. You like, there's there's just no way in, right? But you're you know, trying to to make the location still happen. Yeah, you're trying to make the location <laughs> trying viable. Trying to something, and you find the teensy tiny tiniest little hole, right? And you jam your camera up right up in there just to try and take a good peek around i th yeah this is getting weird guys i'm super sorry about That's what this the ghost in the bando house sees when you're peeking in yeah <laughs> and nobody wants to see this first thing in their afterlife um so you know you you, you got to jam your lens in there and get kind of creative now it doesn't it, like it obviously doesn't make for like One a out great of, like a hundred times you get a little bit of something cool right exactly um so <sighs> You know, you, as Mo said, like, uh, check out, for instance, check out our last video, Lemons to Lemonade, right? Um, Mo, uh, Mo was able to get some, some beautiful shots from that cemetery house that we couldn't get into. Now, gang, if you want to see said shots, head over to the Reckless Insta. The link for it is up in the banner art. You just want to, just want to give it a little tippity tap, just a little tippity tap, and it'll take you over there. Now, that particular photo set that we're talking about is called Through the Looking Glass. All the shots... Come here. Hold on. All the dog the, is being so annoying. All the shots were taken by this lovely lady. Um, and you on, had a couple minutes of a little video. Yeah. Too, which yeah. Is cool. But on Instagram, she is known as at MoniqueJ420. I am Hef underscore Lafrome. <laughs> we are Reckless underscore Fam. Also known as Reckless Adventure to you, to YouTube what? folks. I'm listen. These people need to get to know us. You know so. that reminds me of that game with the barrel of monkeys. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my mo. I also love board games, guys. So when mo references games, I'm like super stoked. So yeah, you were saying pictures on Instagram, super cool. I take most of them. He does most of the videos. I'm starting with videos. Some of them are kind of cool. We'll see how they turn out in the future. Yo. Jackson does bando tags. Yo, Jackson <laughs> does do bando tags, and you can follow Jackson personally at jq.stanley. But Mo Mo's first video is up on the YouTube, guys. It's her version of Piero's Palace. I know that finger and fist are getting close <laughs> in there, and this is getting aggressive, but you need to go and watch it. Guys, go and watch it. Love it. Subscribe. Become a member of Reckless Gang. Let's explore. Um, you know, we made a list. We're trying to to make our videos more organized. Yeah, I, I tend to ramble. I, I tend to ramble. Wow, I make this a lot of in, lists. This turned into an almost twenty minute video. What the fuck? All right, let's wrap things okay. up. Let's go. Okay, guys. So finally, on our on our last point of of Bando fails, and we're gonna tell you a quick story before we we say good night to you. Um, so. You think you found a dope spot, and it looks abandoned, but it's not. And then you feel like you suck at life and should stop urbexing. It's for a minute. For a hot minute, yeah. So then someone else's pictures or videos come along, and you're like, yeah, yeah, I gotta find a spot like that. So. Oh, oh, hell's yeah! It, <laughs> I I like seeing other people's stuff keeps us motivated. That's true. Yeah. Um. Anyway, but our story. So when you think you found a band of but it's not a band. So we were road tripping this summer and we were down uh, around Wealth. Um, and we thought we found, like, we just, we randomly found this bridge beside the, like, a, a bridge oh, yeah. that was <laughs> off of the road and set down lower than It was than a really old bridge that they made another bridge next to it because the original was, like, 100 years old and wasn't working anymore. Yeah. Safe, whatever. Right. Yeah. So we we as we're on our way to this bridge, we find this little path, and we, I'm curious. I was curious. One thing leads to another, and we're wandering down this path into the woods instead of going to see this bridge. So anyway, we're, we're we find like we find like shacks and shanties and like a camp fire, like skulls, a bonfire pit. Animal skulls. Oh yeah, animal skulls, dude. We found Old animal laundry skulls. hanging yeah. like it was. Yeah, so we, yeah. Like we, once we saw the laundry, we were like, hmm, what's that? Because it was old, like it had been there for a long time, but still. Right, so we thought it might have been like an abandoned 
homeless camp or an abandoned something like just if something odd and this happened, is one of our first explorers so still really green right so we're going through these woods and we're finding all these <clears> trails <throat> and deeper in the forest we find this huge like shanty set up and it's like what the hell what the hell what the hell oh my god fuck you know trying to move in without getting seen we were paranoid that somebody was over there etc cetera, etc cetera. and anyway we get we get close to this one one tent thing <laughs> And there is a sign on the tent for uh, for a particular uh, institution. Let's just leave it that way. Uh, an ongoing institution. Yeah, an ongoing <laughs> institution. And we're like, what the what the hoozle? And good old Google, good old Google, <laughs> always answers questions for you on the fly. Uh, turns out was not abandoned no no super cool video and i'm probably gonna post it at some point but i'm gonna have to edit out the signage so that way i don't get my my bottom in trouble for trespassing um because even though there was we didn't climb a fence we no didn't it, do was, anything. it was it was, a, a it was literally a nature path off the road <laughs> yeah there was there was no fencing no no, no signage really. no no and oh. like dude when you find animal skulls in a spot Huh? You're going to keep looking. Right, right. <laughs> We're curious. We can't help it. So, you know. That was fun. Yeah. Still you know. got some cool pictures. Oh, definitely got some cool pictures. Still a cool video, so like I said, guys. Video. So, you know, I'm probably going to release it. I'll just need to edit it at some point and make it less. Take, just take up the, the sign that Obvious. we caught. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, guys, um, we really thank you for joining us tonight. Um, discussing our um, bando, uh, you know, bando fails. Um, we're gonna we're gonna pimp we're gonna pimp a couple of things right now besides the Instagrams that we already pimped. <laughs> um, <coughs> we are going to pimp um, another our next reckless vlog. Um, yeah. <coughs> pardon me, guys. Um, so our next reckless vlog, something uh, we get asked a lot, Jackson as well, um, is how we come up with our spots. Um, so we're, you know, we're going to do a little talk on, um, on scouting locations and, you know, how, how that whole game goes. Um, so guys, we hope you enjoyed that one. Um, also upcoming for uh, the main adventure videos, which I talked about at the end of Lemons <laughs> to Lemonade, and I'm going to do something real stupid here. Um, 30 minute alone challenge. Guys, yeah. this is the stupid part. Guys, your old pal F, he's nuts. He wants to do a 30 minute alone challenge, but here's the wacky part. You guys, you guys who watch our videos, all of you out there. Pick a spot. Please comment. Please, please comment below and see oh uh, and, and, and tell me where you would like to see me do a 30 minute alone challenge. Now, to up the ante sum for you really adventurous or torturous souls don't tell me to go don't invite me to go no 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 oh this is going to be even worse not only will they pick the location yeah. they are going to pick where in said location i am going to be alone for 30 minutes cool what do you think can, of can i can i pick a spot Guys, also comment below to see if Mo gets a vote in all this. I should have a vote. I'm going to be honest with you as a member of Reckless Adventure. I, I think it's bullshit that the other team members get to torture me. because uh, We could put our votes together as one vote. You and Jackson get one combined vote? Mm -hmm. Guys, we both know this is going to be the bullshit vote that kills me in the end. I have a feeling we're these sad sack... Well, not you, maybe, but I know where he's going to want me to go. And I am not happy about this one. So, guys, just as a guest now, without a verified confirmation here, I bet you my friend Jackson would want to see me do a 30-minute alone challenge in the train car, the storage car. I've never even thought of that. At Camp Creep Show. If I am forced to do that one, if I am forced to do that one, you guys may need to donate so I can get new underwear. Because that place is fucked up and i haven't been there either that was another night i had to work the next day yeah yeah oh camp camp creep show guys for those who have not watched the video go and watch the video um not one of the nicest place we've ever been like it felt bad um now besides that we've got 
one final piece of business um, to deal with. Guys, part of the issue with these reckless vlogs is we want to get to know you better. We want you guys to get to know us better. Now, there is one, one thing you really need to know about Mo. She is a beautiful, beautiful woman, but she harbors one disturbing secret. And guys, I'm going to pick up the camera and change the perspective right now oh, so you no. can see this horrible <laughs> secret, okay? I, just don't, don't judge her, okay? Don't oh, judge her. There we go. Did I bring it up for you? Oh, no. Just give me that. Oh, oh. give me that sweet, sweet tilt. Oh, guys, oh. you see this shit? That's what you call a horse boot, oh. motherfucker. So Mo has slippers that look like horsies, and yeah, we call them... them up here. Okay. We call, uh. them, we call them horse boots. <clears throat> and... If I, you know, if I get a little out of line, I get a little horse bite. It's it's a little, just a quick jab with the toes of the horse boots. <laughs> so, guys, oh my now that you know Mo's <laughs> disturbing secret, please don't judge her. And honestly, please don't worry about me. I'll be fine with the horse boot maniac. I only wear them in the building. I don't wear Oh my god, you can see the dirty closet. Oh, oh just get over here then. <laughs> So, without, without further ado, we bid you all a good night, and we hope you've enjoyed Reckless Vlog 2, and you are all at the edge of your seat for Reckless Vlog 3 and the 30 Minute Challenge. Come on. 30 comment, Minute Challenge, this is exciting. Com com comment. Comment, you lovely, beautiful people. Comment, comment, comment. Also, subscribe. Smash the like button so you know we know we're doing an okay job. Turn on post notifications so you know when we've got another one of our little ditties coming out. <laughs> and you know what? Just keep being super cool and urbexing, okay? Yeah. Oh, also, if yeah. you guys know, want to see us do more paranormal investigation shit, which oh, we're yeah. going to try and do. That's if, my weird obsession, paranormal stuff. If you have a spot you would like to see us go to, or would like to come to with us. Or let us come to your place. You have a haunted house. Yeah. If you want us to bring some equipment. Yeah. We'll spend a couple hours, spend the night, whatever. Maybe even Tedward can... Jones. He's a ghost hunter. <laughs> Sniff out a ghost. <laughs> uh, yeah, just let us know. Guys, comment below. Comment, comment, comment. Yeah, awesome. Anyway, take care, gang. We hope you have a good night. And uh, love y'all and thank you for the support. Night.